certain kind of celeb is rarely seen without the permatan, achieved with sprays or creams, to bring that amber glow that teems so well with the red carpet. But it's a look civilians should approach with caution. I don't want a fake tan because I've tried the fake tan thing before and I didn't enjoy it. I couldn't wait to get home to take it all off. On some people, it works beautifully. Some people turns orange, some people doesn't do anything, mm. and you can't control, so that's a difficult thing. I'm going to experiment with a tinted moisturiser on half the side of your right. face and use some bronzing powders on the other and see which effect you like yeah. better. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> First up, tinted moisturiser. Let's take a little bit and do it on one side of your face. A tinted moisturiser with SPF will fake a tan while simultaneously blocking anything that could cause a real tan. You unravel the ironies. It'll also moisturise. If your skin is greasy, go for an oil-free product. Rubia tinted moisturiser is simply depositing colour on the skin. It's not going to change your existing skin's colour. So it's really safe to use and you wash it off at the end of the day exactly. and you're back to basics. Now the bronzing powder. This should be applied with a clean, wide brush, focusing on the points of the face where the sunlight hits. Avoid the eyebrows and hairline. And I personally think the bronzers look better on you. Yeah, I like that as well. And it's easy to do. <laughs> you can just whack it all on. Yeah. Just Much looks, easier. It looks a bit more natural. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but it just looks more even. and It just looks like it's actually toning in with your skin a bit more. OK, Janice, because you like the bronzer mm -hmm. effect much better, let's match it up on the other side. Keep the look spring fresh, young and perfect by obeying one simple rule these celebs know very well. Less is more. Take it from Jen and Helena. Leave the heavy slap alone. We're serious about this. Just leave it. Now that you've got your sun-kissed look, without going anywhere near the sun or a sunbed, mm -hmm. let's add a little bit of blusher right. to just give you a glow. A muted coloured powder and a flick of a brush define the eyebrows and give a much more natural look. Lay off the heavy eye makeup. A dash of mascara is enough of a statement. Add just a smidge of colour with a hint of sheen on the lips if, like Janice, you want to distract the eye from those wrinkles. So not only have we got Janice looking healthy and tanned, but also it's really natural. I mean, you could go to college with this makeup on and blend in. Yeah, I'm not going to be like the old woman there with the bright, bright lipstick and the eyes all done up. What are you trying to say, Janice? <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice, yeah. Great. <laughs>